Well, some gun rights advocates are calling this a bombshell decision that could change the game when it comes to self-defense encounters. They're talking about a ruling by the state Supreme Court that sets a new precedent in Minnesota's duty to retreat laws. Maury Glover joins us now from the newsroom with more on this to break it all down. Maury? Well, in Minnesota, there is a duty to retreat when reasonably possible before using a deadly weapon. But the new ruling says there's a duty to retreat before even showing a weapon. When the Minnesota Supreme Court upheld two second-degree assault with a deadly weapon convictions against a man with a machete who was threatened by a man with a knife at a Minneapolis light rail station, the state's highest court also set a new precedent involving Minnesota's self-defense laws. In a split decision, the court wrote that long-standing Minnesota law says that a person needs to retreat when reasonably possible, even when facing bodily harm. And that security video contradicted the man with the machete's claim that it was not reasonably possible for him to do so. But according to Rob Doerr, the vice president of the Minnesota Gun Owners Caucus, the ruling means anyone who uses a deadly weapon in self-defense must look for a reasonable way to retreat before even showing a weapon. Minnesota is one of the states that uh, in the minority that does have a uh, duty to retreat. But now with this decision, we are literally the only state in the country that requires you to retreat before you even present uh, a force option. In a dissenting opinion, one of the justices wrote, not only is the court's decision unprecedented in the United States, it also flies in the face of human nature. A few door agrees with, saying in the moment, most people don't have time to look for a way to retreat before grabbing or at least showing their weapon to defend themselves. I don't think that this is a practical way that, uh, that a self-defense encounter would unfold. If you're confronted with a threat, you're going to want to mitigate that threat as soon as possible. Now, Dorr says this precedent could affect anyone with a permit to carry in Minnesota and change the way permit to carry trainers teach about the state's self-defense laws. In the newsroom, Maury Glover, Fox 9. All right. Thank you, Maury.